Hey guys, this is Orlando with Filmatic, and I want to introduce you guys to something that I've been battle testing for a little bit. Um, working with a company called Cidio, uh that has a crate system. You guys know I love Pelican. Uh, it's like. Manny, look at it. Pelican, play! Come on, Pelican! It's one thing that almost every filmmaker buys right after they buy that really expensive camera. New cam, who this? It's a $200 or $300 investment buying Pelican. Now that I've had more of a rolling cart, I find myself wanting to have less and less Pelicans. And so far, I feel like this is a pretty good solution. And we'll talk about a couple things. One of them will be the pricing, uh, the flexibility, and then also how modular each of these things are. Pelicans, we all love them. Let's go through how these are modular and how they work. And uh, if you're like me, you probably have all different types of versions. This one here is the 1535. Uh, if you checked out my other cart, my other video on what's in my cart, um, I showed off this case. Uh, this one's customized. I have actually a uh, Jason Cases Essentials. You can see that here. Cool about this is that you have different areas for all your different GAC, you know? So I have a, a space for like earplugs and um, T-Marks and my Limos and adapters and all that stuff. And then uh, other thing you can do to make it modular, make your Pelican modular is Trek Pack. But once you do all this, you're investing almost, I think this Pelican case is at least $150 to $200. This add-on is only, open. this add-on, which is just not the content that's inside, but where you have all these little caddies, this is worth a hundred bucks. So that's $300 altogether. And then when you go to the Trek Pack, if you buy it individually, it's gonna be like another hundred bucks. So altogether, without any of the content inside, you're spending almost $300 to $400 just on the case. So yeah, Pelican fanboy for sure. I mean, we've been, I've had so many different Pelicans, all the different sizes. I've had the originals and these are now the Airs. Um, they're lighter, they're easy to travel with. The pros are that they are, you can run over these. They're waterproof. As long as you don't drill holes into them or do anything crazy, they're waterproof. Um, the other cool thing is that they stack on top of each other very well. A couple cons of them is that they're really expensive. If you try to stack the older versions with the new versions, they don't stack well together. Um, they're very easy to bump off or slide off of each other whenever they're traveling uh, in unison. But overall, I mean, you can't go wrong with the Pelican case. If you have any gear that's really, really expensive and you're traveling, um, you know, anywhere in the world, a Pelican case is like, it's a must. Um, but yeah, Pelican overall, I love it. I'm not gonna get rid of them, but just trying to give you another solution. So what's cool about uh, the Cidio case? Well, first off, they're about 50 bucks. I think the more you buy, they also take off percentages. Um, so you can buy in bulk and get like a 10% discount. Um, to be honest with you guys, Cidio sent me a couple of these and like every brand that sends me stuff, I tell them that I have to just put it through its paces. And I've actually had this on a 40 day project, not including travel. So these things have been on, uh, you know, they've traveled all over. Luckily we're just driving. So all this just lived on my cart. But what's been really awesome about this, if you haven't seen them yet, go check them out, Cidio Crates, um, is these are the tops. And then inside, I mean, this is like really, really, really hard plastic. You will hurt yourself with these. And they do become very heavy, but if you have a cart system, they're perfect. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors and you know, you can check that out on the website. Uh, they sent me a, a couple different variations and there are some new things that they have added since they sent this to me that I think will make this ultimately better. What's cool about it is that they have dividers so you can just pop up and then you can make it a little more modular and drop in wherever you need. They have numbers on the side here. I see this is 33, so I'll match that up with 33 on this side. And then you just slide right in and, and you're good to go. It, this one is my battery kit, so I, I can put in a full uh, four bank charger here. I can stack a ton of batteries. I mean, I have six of these currently in here, so this would actually run most of the day. Um, most of my projects are two cameras, so I have way more batteries stacked in here. Grab another case and drop it on top. And they just kind of lock in. Like th these things do not move. Um, if you're all about, you know, pelicans get destroyed, so do these. So don't think that these are going to be the neat neatest and nicest thing. That's why I tell people if you want to test your equipment and see how well it holds up on set, send it to me because we will put it through its paces. I must break you. I mean, we don't baby our equipment. We're there to shoot and get out, you know? But you can see that all these cases already have 
um, all kinds of marks. So if you're a clean freak, like this is not for you. Like things are gonna get scratched and I'm sure you can clean it up a bit, but you know, these are meant to protect what's inside, not really to, um, you know, to, to be clean. There's many cool things about it, like all the different color types that you get. And overall, like, I just think they're great. And I'll tell you right now that if they hadn't sent me these, like, I'm glad that I got to test them out, but I will tell you if I lost these, I would definitely buy them again. And the only difference is that I would probably just order more colors or different colors or different colored lids. I have so many different ones. Um, these are the thinner ones. They now have some that are a little bit taller. Um, and I would say, you know, go test them out. They're not that expensive. And if you compare, how much one of these costs with the dividers and all that to a Pelican case, this is gonna still be like under a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more with, with shipping and all that. But as I showed you in the current configuration with the Pelican case, it's almost like 400 bucks just by itself. And I did some upgrades, like also add like little colored tabs and colored uh, handles and stuff. And so this thing probably is closer to $450 just by itself. The pros are they're inexpensive. They're not the safest thing. Like if you flip this over, whatever content is, it's gonna fall out. What you're hoping for is that it weighs enough so that these things just don't move. Uh, the one thing that I, I don't like about them is that you're supposed to have these to push in. This part does not flex. These do not flex. So I just end up doing this more than anything else. Most people, when you get them brand new, you're gonna try to push these in. It's not gonna work, as you can see. But this way, it does work. Um, the other thing that I found out right away was that you need to have some kind of soft plush thing here, like on the bottom. As you can see, it scratches up very easily, but also your equipment can scratch up very easily with this. So um, just, you know, be careful with that and make sure that you're, um, that you put something soft here before you start putting all your gear. And uh, and yeah, I mean, overall, the price is, is pretty insane. They look cool. I mean, they look freaking awesome. And uh, like I said, I would, I would definitely buy them all over again yeah so overall um i just wanted to show you all the difference between sidio crates and pelicans i do think if you're a traveling filmmaker and you're going to be on planes stick to the pelicans but if you're like me you have a van you can move this stuff into uh, and you can organize based on you know just popping the lid and being able to pull stuff out and go straight into shooting then sidio crates are probably for you um the last thing i would say is like just order one you know try one um honestly if it sucked i would have told you but the price is the price is not bad and i think you actually will enjoy them so thanks for watching guys go ahead and make sure to like subscribe and all the other cool stuff later